Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, yeah, today we work on this printer. The ink light will be on constantly, and all the cartridge light will be on. According to Epson, this is a CSSE problem. CSSE is the thing that connects your cartridge uh, to the motherboard. Uh, the printer just cannot take any cartridges, so of course the first thing I try is uh, put a new cartridge in. And the next suspect is the CSSE board. That's those uh, brass, uh, the brass contact points that contact with your cartridge. So I took the case off, just make it easier. And uh, now I'm taking off the CSSE board. And uh, for uh, for those of you uh, don't know how to do it, I'm gonna post a uh, the video to. Uh, uncasing, which I take the case apart, and also for another one is how to replace the printhead uh, that you can learn how to take off the CSSA board. I don't see anything wrong here, and uh, the connection seems to be good. I'll just replace it. Uh, go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, search for F6525. And I'm going to use this one to replace the original one. Take the two screw off, and uh, it's really easy to take it off. Now I'm going to take the, the pin off. Uh, just use a sharp knife, uh, like a box cutter. And uh, those are wind uh, pins. So just bend it towards the little, uh, bend it inside a little bit, and uh, use your thumb to push, and uh, they'll come out. Now I go to bchtechnology.com and uh, I search for win. And when you insert, this is the back of the chip. Chip. Uh, you can see the brass points is kind of in the middle, and this is the front of the chip. The brass points is kind of uh, on the bottom. And uh, now we just insert a bunch of uh, new chips. And now slide in our new uh, chipboard. Okay, uh, now we put everything back and uh, turn the power on and wait for the result, which is not working. Based on Epson's uh, uh, service menu, it definitely it is a CSSE problem. However, we just like after a couple of days, we said, oh, let's check if there is something else uh, could be wrong. So we uh, fire up the Epson adjustment program. Now I'm just double check. Uh, I go to printer and drivers and uh, find the printer and uh, go to see the properties and uh, the printer is on and uh, is on uh, port uh, port 01. So I went to the adjustment program and select port 01 and I went to particular adjustment and out of panic, uh, first thing I did is I copied uh, uh, the printhead ID and uh, I write the printhead ID, print ID into the printer and see it works. Uh, of course, it doesn't. So I figure, like, uh, let's see what other errors it may have. So I select a printer information check and uh, hit check and look at those errors. So 42H, uh, it did a uh, I did move the printhead around, and after it's moving, I find uh, uh, the printhead is uh, over temperature is detected. So let's uh, dig the printhead out. Again, the video is in the description if you don't know how to do it. So uh, basically, it has nothing to do with uh, cartridge cannot be detected, nothing to do with the ink at all. Uh, you can see the cable is totally charred. Uh, the totally black and uh, so printhead is bad and uh, we're gonna get a new printhead and new cable and uh, get this printer working for the customer